Tesla has aimed to eventually become a massive distributed electric utility company. And with a new product or software, AutoBidder, we've been given a bit more information into this endeavor. And news out of the United Kingdom tells us that Tesla has applied for a license to become an energy provider in the UK. And with the recent release of Michael Moore's Planet of the Humans documentary, it's going to be crucial for all of us to understand what's going on in this space in the coming years so we can speak intelligently on why we support Tesla and their mission as now the other side is going to be armed with some strong arguments against what Tesla is doing. Toward the end of 2019, Elon said, quote, I think there is generally a lack of understanding or appreciation for the growth of Tesla energy. In the long term, I expect Tesla energy to be of the same or roughly the same size as Tesla's automotive sector. Tesla energy is going to be a major part of Tesla's activity in the future, and Tesla's mission from the beginning has been to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. End quote. With the unveiling of AutoBidder, the idea is that Tesla will keep deploying more solar and energy storage systems, both residentially and commercially and then manage those distributed systems to function like an electric utility company. AutoBidder is successfully operating at the Hornsdale Power Reserve, or HPR, in South Australia, and through market bidding has added competition to drive down energy prices. If you'd like to learn more about that project, there's an episode in the description below. The new AutoBidder software is how Tesla is able to function in this capacity, and Tesla has already been using the software for a few years. The Tesla website says, quote, AutoBidder provides independent power producers, utilities, and capital partners the ability to autonomously monetize battery assets. AutoBidder is a real-time trading and control platform that provides value-based asset management and portfolio optimization enabling owners and operators to configure operational strategies that maximize revenue according to their business objectives and risk preferences, end quote. What's also potentially a massive advantage here for Tesla is that this new platform doesn't work with only Tesla products, but looks to be compatible with any type of energy storage. AutoBidder can also operate at any scale, meaning it can function with residential size energy storage systems or 100 megawatt utility scale installations. It allows seamless integration between hardware and software, which means AutoBidder can help to earn revenue immediately after the energy storage system goes live and functions 24 seven in ever changing environments. So what exactly is AutoBidder? There are a few main features that are being deployed using machine learning. Tesla's team of experienced machine learning engineers and market trading experts have created a library of sophisticated algorithms that drive the optimal dispatch behavior behind Tesla's batteries. The algorithms are based on numerous mathematical techniques, including classical statistics, machine learning, and numerical optimization. AutoBidder's algorithms are adaptable to new markets and services and continuously improve through experiential data to maintain high financial performance in dynamic market environments. AutoBidder was designed to collaborate with and augment the capabilities of human operators. It continuously executes transactions in the market using a numerical optimization model that is based on the parameters set and adjusted by a human operator, reflecting the preferences of the specific trading desk. Some of these functionalities include price forecasting, which is a branch of energy forecasting that focuses on predicting the spot and forward prices in wholesale electricity markets. Over the last 15 years, electricity price forecasts have become a fundamental input to energy companies' decision-making mechanisms at the corporate level. Load forecasting, which is a process used by many vertically integrated U.S. electric utilities to determine the least cost risk supply models and demand-side resources that meet government policy objectives and future obligations to customers, and in many cases, shareholders. Generation forecasting, which is vital because the power consumption and the power generation should be balanced in real time. If it's not satisfied, the voltage quality will be severely affected. The high voltage fluctuation not only increases the power consumption, but also affects the life and safety of the electrical equipment. 
In order to realize the balance between power generation and electricity consumption, the prediction of electric net generation is very important for the national economy. Dispatch optimization, which is the short-term determination of the optimal output of a number of electricity generation facilities to meet the system load at the lowest possible cost, subject to transmission and operational constraints. Smart bidding, which, much like with Google Ads, uses automated bidding strategies using machine learning to optimize for conversions to help determine values in an ongoing manner. Batteries are highly flexible assets, but they require smart strategies and software to realize their full value. AutoBidder allows owners to realize this value by handling the complex optimization required to successfully stack multiple value streams simultaneously, including wholesale energy markets and ancillary services, which is just the purchasing and selling large quantities of electricity between utility companies the transmission and distribution level grid services, and renewable firming and shaping. Renewable power purchase agreements, or PPAs, have steadily increased in popularity over the last decade. Many PPAs include provisions designed to protect against uncertainty in renewable energy generation or volatile electricity market prices. Collectively, these protections fall under the umbrella of shaping and hedging and aim to provide one counterparty or another with increased certainty around future generation or cash flows. In a shaped PPA, the seller guarantees the buyer a fixed generation shape, or a predetermined quantity of energy delivered over a predetermined period of time. AutoBidder also participates in day-ahead markets, which lets market participants commit to buy or sell wholesale electricity one day before the operating day to help avoid price volatility. In real-time markets, which lets market participants buy and sell wholesale electricity during the course of the operating day, the real-time energy market balances the differences between day-ahead commitments and the actual real-time demand for production of electricity. And in continuous markets, which is the most intuitive kind of market that allows participants to buy and sell whenever they want. Usually, one party advertises that they're willing to buy or sell a given product or volume at a given price, and the other party accepts. AutoBidder is hosted on Tesla's highly reliable and secure cloud infrastructure that is engineered to perform large-scale complex computation and is capable of interfacing with market operators network providers, and customer networks via secure web APIs. As mentioned at the outset of the video, Tesla has applied for a license to become the UK's energy provider, which could drastically shake up the country's power landscape. Tesla has yet to comment about its intent for the UK license. This move could also mean that Tesla would deploy its power pack or mega pack technology to Britain. Bear in mind, Plans for large-scale power packs in the UK are not yet confirmed by Tesla, but renewable energy sources, solar and wind, account for roughly 40% of the UK's energy. This will be a thread to monitor in the coming months. In the words of my guy Steven from Solving the Money Problem, this matters. Like with Tesla's virtual power plant with power walls in Australia, there's a future where Tesla leverages its massive deployment of solar and energy storage systems to create a marketplace for electric utilities to use that capacity in exchange for compensation. The global power generation market blew past a value of $1.3 trillion back in 2018. It has grown at a compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, of 2.4% since 2014 and is expected to grow at a CAGR of 3.5% through 2022. Obviously, Tesla won't own anywhere near even half of this power generation market in our lifetime, but the market is massive and ripe for disruption for a list of reasons so long that we can save them for a future episode. Right now, there is a ton of controversy around the green energy movement, and with Tesla being the leader of the pack, it's critical we can continue to speak intelligently on their endeavors over the next 10 years when the opposition continues to thwart their efforts.